Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. From April 1864 to March 1865, Lucy A. Cannon kept a diary in which she documents her family's daily life at Glen Cannon, a plantation today known as Glenfield. Lucy's diary, which is in the possession of the Maryland Historical Society, is remarkable for a number of reasons. First, Lucy's diary contains beautifully executed pencil drawings by the diarist herself. The sketches are of the family members, the plantation, and the dependencies to the home. The diary is also remarkable because it chronicles her family's attempts to maintain some sense of normalcy during the federal occupation of Natchez, a time of ever-present threats of unwarranted searches and martyring Union soldiers. For example, on this day, December 28, 1864, Lucy notes that after dinner, the family spent the evening playing piano, singing carols, and admiring the Christmas tree. Lucy wrote, The war was the time forgotten, and we were happy as we were in the time of peace. The next day, however, Lucy awoke to witness swarms of Yankee troops raiding the smokehouse, hen houses, and larders carrying off sides of bacon, chickens, and sacks of potatoes. Guards were placed at the doors, and a lieutenant and his men searched the house for rebel soldiers. The new year brought even more fear and excitement for the family. On January 2, 1865, at 1 a.m., Union robbers attempted to break into the main house, firing bullets into the front doors and the dining room windows. Today, the bullet holes remain at Glenfield. Evidence of this terrifying event so well relayed by the young diarist, Lucy Cannon. In 1880, Glen Cannon was sold by Lucy and her siblings to my great-great-great-grandfather, Osborne King Field, who changed the name to Glenfield. I am Joanna Johnson, who with my grandmother, Marjorie Ming, the fourth generation homeowner. This has been your Natchez History Minute.